מזמן לסוי, דורי לאדנו כל הארצים, דסא דנו בשים חובי לפני בנן, נדו כאדנו אלוהים, הוא לסנו מלא נחנם וצמר ריסוי. ואי שור בסי לחץ ריסא וסי להוי דו לבוח שמוי, כי תוי ועד אינוי לא ילום חס דוי, ועד דוי ועוד דוי רמו נוסוי. God, your kindness is everlasting, and your faithfulness is for all generations. Let us give some tzedakah together with our prayers for the well-being of all of Eretz Yisrael, Jews all over the world, particularly this day, today, the sixth day of the month of Tishri, in 1965, the Rebbe's mother, the Rebbe Zachana, mother of royalty, a queen in her own right, passed away on that Shabbos. So let's give to Docker. And I want to share with you, I'm going to read for you, something that the rabbits wrote in her memoirs in a very uh, difficult moment when she, when her husband, Reb Levik, was exiled to a little village, Chile, in the Asian part of Russia, and the rabbits joined her. And there she relates something which happened Yom Kippur time, and I think it's worth. I'm going to read it, translate it from her words. Many of the evacuees came to the city of Chile where we were, Housing shortage became very serious. There was a very strict allotment of space. Each person was allotted a minimum living space. For our single room, the authorities allowed it five people. However, we were only two people. The manager of the living quarter was a Christian, an engineer. He was an intelligent and learned person who had written books on mathematics and quite a number of times when they met he discussed with my husband many of these issues. His respect for my husband, meaning Reb Levik, the Rebbe's father, served us well because he overlooked the required quarter for our room and he didn't send us any borders. And this was for us a great favor. The landlady of the house who visited, was visited by her daughter with her two children. This daughter immediately began submitting applications and papers to get living space in our room. These letters came to the manager, who found himself in a very awkward position, because he himself was an exiled refugee, and he had to be careful in his work, especially when she indicated in her application that only two people, and yet an arrested Jew, were occupying such a large room, while she, a true proletarian and a communist with two children, is homeless. She was demanding it to immediately be placed in Schneerson's room as this was close to her mother. The manager, not having any alternative, issued a dwelling certificate to a school teacher who was looking for a, a room for herself and her child. He decided that this teacher was a much finer person and it would be better for us to live with her, with her rather than with the landlady's daughter. With this boarding certificate, she went to the landlady and displaying the order, she said, Schneerson doesn't want any Gentile neighbors. So I will show him how I will live there. She then came to us in our room, and it became very inconvenient. But there was absolutely nothing we could do. I remember it was then close to him, Kippur. My husband spoke to me with tears in his eyes. How will I daven? How will I pray? That was his only concern. Besides, we were now confronted with the problem of kashrus in one room with one oven and to top it off a screaming small child. We began making plans how we will live with her peacefully. There were two weeks left to Yom Kippur. My husband was already planning how to deal with the problem. And then to our astonishment she left us the order that she had taken the room. But week after week went by and she didn't come. When the landlady came with complaints, we showed her the certificate that the room is already occupied. After, the, after Yom Kippur, the teacher met my husband and she asked him in Yiddish, Rebbe, how did you fast? And she added, I also fasted. And when he asked her why she hadn't come to the room, she responded that in order to save her life, she made a Polish non-Jewish name in her passport and was living in Poland as a Polish Gentile. 
With this passport, she came here to Chile. And when I entered your room, she continued, and I saw you, I decided immediately not to disturb your rest. Rebbe, continue living in your dwelling in good health and hold on to the dwelling certificate which I left with you. And when someone will come to claim space in your room, you will say that I live here. Mi ka'amcho ki Who is Abishta, God, who is like your people? Such selfless dedication, such love for your fellow Jew. Abishta, just for this alone, we deserve already Boshiach to come.